Hey there, I'd like to show you a magic trick. Now you see me. And now, well, you still see me, but I'm much more blurry, like Sasquatch, maybe. And if I get way up close to you, I'm still blurry. I have to be the perfect distance away in order for you to see me in perfect focus. How do we address this issue with the PVS-14 night vision monocular? Introducing the Tarsier adjustable iris for the PVS-14, perhaps the greatest attachment for under $100 that you can have for your night vision. Watch as I walk far away, yet remain in focus, and can get way up close and still be seen fairly clearly. Well, I do hope that you guys are as easily entertained as I am, because if so, then first of all, that makes my job as a content creator so much easier. But also, hey, we can help out the manufacturers of these products, because listen to this. Is that not the most buttery, smooth, satisfying movement? The sound of the action of the iris adjusting from its smallest to largest diameter. Be warned, you may acquire this setup and never end up installing it on your night vision because you're too busy walking around your house using it as if it's a fidget toy. <laughs> now, please enjoy the experiments that you're watching me conduct in the background. I'm so excited to get the first one done where I focused the objective lens so the outwardmost lens on the PVS-14 unit itself, focusing that close range, medium range, as well as essentially an infinite far range, and then applying the Tarsier or Tarsier iris to that to see if the focus of the PVS-14 itself affects the Tarsier. We will go ahead into some alternatives, some cheaper and one much more expensive, as well as this exact setup and why I chose it. And then we'll go into a conclusion and a helpful tip. So this is all linked in the description. I have one Amazon listing as well as one eBay listing. On eBay, we're looking at the adjustable 1.5 to 26 millimeter iris. This is essentially a unit that has very fine, almost infinite adjustment where you can adjust the iris so that the PVS-14 is capturing or rather sacrificing light for the ability to focus closer and closer to you while also maintaining a focus further away. And the wider that you adjust the iris, the focus is going further and further out but still better ultimately than the normal PVS-14 focus, which is essentially just one plane or one distance of focus. The iris, sacrificing light, allows you to some degree to focus at multiple distances at the same time. So this essentially is what you might call a DIY, a very limited DIY option, where you have the Amazon KNF lens 37 millimeter protection filter working as the sacrificial lens or essentially just a protective barrier, not necessarily a necessity, it's technically optional, but definitely worthwhile for the small price. This entire unit together, two components, only about $70. You literally just screw the two together and then that unit screws into the PVS-14 and you have what some of the competitors sell for quite a bit more money for the most part. That's what you're getting. Now, that's what I have. The more expensive option is the Mapbox Eclipse. This costs about $250 per unit now. I'm not going to talk down about that. I think it's awesome if you have the money to spend and you want a complete unit to arrive at your door, plus some great customer service, feel free to go with that option. To be fair, I have heard of some complaints about 
perhaps the eye race sticking or being so tight that when you adjust the iris, it actually moves the objective lens because of how tight and sometimes gritty it can get. Though I'm sure that can happen depending on your unit and how you use it, how dirty it is, etc. I'm sure that's possible. That's the most expensive option that we will generally find for about $250 compared to our $70 option. There are some even cheaper ones though that you can go with. There are Butler Creek caps with 5.56 casing holes punched into them. This is only gonna run you about $10 and is essentially a scope cap that you do have to DIY. This is a little bit more DIY. You're kind of custom fitting and you can go as wild with it as you want. You're fitting a scope cap essentially to your PVS-14 that allows you to quickly throw down that cover and adjust essentially your light gathering but also field of view where you take the Butler Creek cap fit it to your PVS 14 objective lens put a hole in it about the size of a 556 casing and have something that is larger than your day cap and allows more focus closer range or at varying distances while also maintaining a a great price and if you're a DIY type of person or on a budget, that's a great option. Even further on a budget, how about just taking your normal daytime caps for either free or a few dollars and just enlarging the hole that already exists there. So these are all options here ranging from essentially free or a few dollars to maybe $10 or so all the way up to $70 what I have here showcased and the Matbach option for about 250 I went with mine because it's the perfect hybrid where you're almost getting the Matbach level of quality. The only real difference in function is that the $70 unit directly screws into your PVS-14 while the Matbach kind of just snaps. It's kind of a friction fit over the objective lens. You may like the cheaper option better because it screws in and is perhaps more secure. That's kind of up to you. I went with this because, I mean, it's DIY, but in reality, you're just screwing two different components together and you have the functional unit. So you're not actually having to do much work to get something that is, in my opinion, quite high quality, even if you're just looking to experiment with it and you may end up with the Matbach in the future. 70 bucks if you can handle it. I think this is a great option or possibly go with the cheaper ones. Now, I mentioned day caps. One interesting tip is while researching the Matbach products, I noticed in the comment section of one of his videos that he had actually noted not to use his products as daytime or daylight caps due to the diameter of the hole being just larger than a normal daytime cap, even at its smallest setting. And mind you, this is probably going to be the same for all of these options that even at their smallest settings, they're going to be larger than a day cap. He did suggest not to use these as daytime caps. Now, I'm under the impression that I'm fairly safe with my night vision and I don't expose it to much light. But if you do, keep in mind that if you are in a well-lit environment, not to necessarily rely on these as daytime light protection for your expensive night vision devices. In conclusion, I do believe that this is perhaps one of the best accessories for $70 that you can acquire for your night vision setup. Do I believe that everybody will find it necessary? Absolutely not, and I am not even saying that it is necessary. I think that it is completely reasonable to just use the objective lens of your PVS-14 to focus whenever you can, or just deal with the slightly out of focus objects in your environment. You can totally operate just like that, perfectly fine. But under certain circumstances, I believe that this is totally worthwhile. And what do I mean by certain circumstances? I mean more well-lit environments, at least 
compared to night vision usage. So I'm talking about a full moon or a clear sky with stars just providing enough ambient light where you can sacrifice a little bit of light for that extra depth, that extra focus on your night vision hikes, your shooting, your fishing, your kayaking, whatever you're doing under night vision, it could very possibly benefit from such a simple modification. My friend, I do hope that you enjoyed, laughed, or learned. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and most importantly, share. Remember, don't have a good day, have a good night.